So for Stalder and Endo, there is a great number of conditioning exercises that can be performed along the lines of the following. With the hands in line with the ankles, the gymnast can lift their legs up and down for a set of eight times. And at the end of a repetition of eight, hold for eight seconds. This conditions the hip flexors, the stomach muscles in a necessary way to prepare for the gymnast to perform without hitting the bar. Hanging in straddle and fixing this shape as well with the coach pressing down helps to fix the quadriceps, hip flexors to hold the position and the same exercise in the straddle figure four position. Pressing the feet backwards, the coach trying to break the shape is an essential part of the skill. Good. The ability to be able to lift a handstand fast will be very helpful in performing the endo and stalder. So endo rolls, forward roll swinging up to handstand with a slow roll and a very fast lift performed many times will help the conditioning for stalder and endo elements. Here you go, Kaylee. A row of five, three sets of five can be quite useful. Fast, fast, fast. Go. One of the best conditioning exercises for Stalder and Endo is on a polished bar being able to hang in the inverted figure four position and perform multiple repetitions of the swing underneath the bar with the coach assisting around the hips. If you go, some more swings. Smaller. Good, keep going. Keep your head in, head in. As the gymnast becomes more able to fix the position, she can then start to develop towards a handstand either side with the coach assisting under the shoulders as necessary. Head in. Two more. And from these progressions, it's not too much of an effort to actually take the stalder or the endo past the vertical. And like the clear circle, the best way to teach the stalder is initially to take it just across the bar in front support, emphasizing the correct chest in shape with the head held neutral. From a small cast, head in, across the bar. And gradually develop that up towards a handstand. The endo, the same thing applies. You'll notice the hands are always in overgrasp. That's fine, on the chalk bar, you'll actually work the endos in undergrasp. Up, and. And then we can repeat many stalders or many endos as required. A good exercise on polished bar is to be able to go around the bar and put your feet on the bar, a stoop on or a straddle on and off. This is a good prerequisite for learning stalders and endos, and it can be taught very safely and very easily on the shiny bar, providing the gymnast has a basic understanding of the giant circle. The first step can be from support, cast. If you just come a bit closer to me, Katie. And for the first one, stoop on and off, put the legs between the hands, start in this position, go all the way around, push off into a swing, and up start, same again, up. Push off. And that push off can go higher and higher. You can do one that pushes off to 45 degrees now. And push off, up, good. And we can build that higher and higher using the same principles with stalders and clear circles. So from handstand, one giant circle, feet on the bar and feet off the bar. Same again, handstand, feet on the bar and off. And the same thing with legs slightly straddled either side of the hands. Can be useful preparation for stalder one more time. Keep the head neutral and off. Good. The way that a gymnast gets into a stalder or an endo or a stoop on and off, straddle on and off can vary. One way to develop the stalder or the stoop on and off is to come in early. So as the gymnast swings up, he'll make a pike to stand on the bars and circle round from there. It's not so common nowadays because it doesn't develop as much potential energy as the gymnast that will come in from handstand. So as Max will show here, most people will initiate a stalder from a handstand position. So the preceding giant will arrive in handstand and then pike or straddle to get down onto the bar. 
And as is common now in girls' gymnastics, because it's necessary to develop more power on a more rounded bar, you can make a slight snapping action and try to put your feet on as late as possible to maximise the potential energy of the skill. From there, little arch and snap in. Yeah. One more time, handstand. Larch. So to try to fall with a so to fall with a straight body first before making a very fast piking of the body will maximize the potential to perform the skill. So we can try to develop that late toe on action for the girls and we can show progression from the toe on and off moving into a stalder. Giant first, stoop on and off. And same again, all the way around. And legs in. And swing. Keep swinging. And with the loops set in under grasp, we can start performing repetitions of endo to handstand. Try to come out in handstand. Handstand. Handstand cam. Up. Good lad. <laughs> 